tremendous honor for me to be a featured violinist for the Library of Congress McKim Commission, and I'm really ecstatic to share with you this piece. I was invited to select five composers and submit them to the library for consideration for uh, this commission, and I would have been thrilled with any one of them. Um, so I was very thrilled <laughs> when the library chose James Lee, with whom I was actually already working on a different commission on behalf of my organization, Music Kitchen, Food for the Soul, the pioneer organization to bring classical music to homeless shelters. So uh, for a commission of a song cycle, Forgotten Voices, we just had a world premiere at Carnegie Hall. And that project has been running um, over, the, over the last three years. And so uh, when James and I first sat down to talk about this piece, well actually we sat down over Zoom, of course, <laughs> um, it was this, this summer of 2020. And he asked me what kind of piece I wanted. Actually, it was, it was early, late spring, sort of early summer. And at that time, it was just an extraordinary time in, in, in the country and in the world. Um, after those of us who were deeply affected by the tragedy of the murder of George Floyd, um, seeing what was happening around the world, that all around the world, out of this terrible, terrible tragedy, people from so many different countries were standing up to say Black Lives Matter. And it was deeply moving to me. I had never seen anything like it. And I didn't know if the moment, and even as I talk about it, <laughs> I get a little choked up. I didn't know if the moment would last. I suspected it wouldn't. Um, but I spoke with James and I said, um, that's what I want. That's what I want in, in the piece. I want to capture um, something of the sadness that we've all endured and um, somehow to get to this tremendous sense of joy about this, about this time, or at least um, a, a release, a release and a gathering together over shared values. And um, I think James captured that and, and many other things so brilliantly, and it's with great pleasure that I play this piece with Terrence Wilson and share it with you tonight.
look surprised. <laughs> I am. And we just want to thank you. It's been an honor and a privilege working with you for these, I think, 20 years. And I know you're getting ready to retire from playing, and we're glad that you saw us worthy of being one of your last concerts. And if you ever change your mind, <laughs> you want to go to the next concert, just call Terence. <laughs> we'll put one together for you. Right, so we just, it's been a privilege. And you know, thank you so much for all that you've done for us and your support and your wonderful, inspiring play. And we would just like to present you. Uh,